Howdy folks, welcome to episode 15. Today we are heading back out to the capital vessel because we're going to go get some Zascosium from the alien planet. And as you can see here, I made a few changes to the capital ship and I re need, to, need to rename it, if I can speak. Yeah, I need to rename it too, but uh, yeah, somebody mentioned that it you know, looks like a slice of pizza and hey, there you go, that's the slice. So I also changed the, let me, let me uh, eat here too. I also changed the turrets. As you can see, I changed the turrets to cannon turrets instead of the other ones, the minigun turrets, because minigun turrets suck. And the other thing I did is, I know I said I wasn't gonna upgrade to the hardened steel plates or whatever, but I decided to do that because of the results of last time of landing. I was landing fairly gently and it damaged a lot of blocks on the bottom. So I went ahead and upgraded to the steel and I counted those out while I was doing it so that I was not getting free parts and it was 119. So there's 119 plates. Bye bye. Oh, sad. Okay. Um, <laughs> it was a bit of iron, but um, yeah, I had a ridiculous supply of sathium, so that wasn't a big deal. But yeah, we're going to head out and let's see here. Where is Masperon? We will find Masperon on our list here and we will get going. So let's head that way and get warping. Now, the reason I'm going to this planet is I need to get some Zascosium because I want to make power coils. And you probably know that you can get power coils from space drones, which is fine. And you know what I just realized? I need to make sure that my turrets, because I just added them, yeah, that they're not shooting at predators. Okay. All right, and I can reload that. And I can also reload this one too. No, reload this one. There we go, and reload it. Okay, anyway, um, let's see here. So yeah, you can get you can get power coils from the space drones, which you know is fine if you need a couple of them. But at this point, I'm planning to build a couple of SVs, one for me, one for Hurley, and I need power coils, five power coils for each um, railgun on them, and I plan on putting something like 10, whoa, wrong, wrong thingy. I plan on putting something like 10 rail guns on each, on each of them. Plus I want to be able to put stuff like, whoa, <laughs> see how these things work. These are firing a lot more slowly too. I don't know what's up with that. Yeah, they, they've changed the rate of fire on these significantly. But yeah, so I, you know, between that and any CV weapons I want to do that take power coils, I think that got them. You know, it's it's not going to be. It's it's not going to work to just to just get get space drones as I'm shooting a space drone, right? I I gotta say this, but yeah, it's you know it's not really going to be that productive to to go around doing this the whole game. You know, it would take a long time to do. And so I'd rather just go mine out a resource node and do that. So, and see this one, we didn't even get any power coils at all. So you can get them. I've gotten none and one and five so far out of the three space drones I've killed in this game. So I imagine it's zero to five. It would probably be, you know, sounds like about a reasonable range. So yeah, it's probably something like that, something on that order. So anyway, that is the strategy for this, and so yeah, I want to be able to build a, a, a decent SV, because that little thing, you know, it's not that cool. It's great for the tiny little base that I have, but I don't want to keep that tiny little base forever. In fact, that's going to be the next order of business, is building a base. And I think we're going to go to Ninguez and check that out and see what kind of environment is there this time because that's, that's where I built on my first series, I built a big base on Ninges. So I'd like to check that out again and see what it's like. 
So we're getting good. We're getting 60 frames per second. I was having problems with this planet and some of the other planets, and I removed the ground fog, and that seems to have fixed the problem. So I was, yeah, I was getting horrendous frame drops before. And so apparently this is the pole, too. It looks like we're getting close to the pole down here. There's a Prometheum deposit. So what we're looking for is... Whoa, it's shooting at something. Probably shooting at a drone somewhere. Yeah, those things are not firing at, you know, the usual rate of fire was like five second, five per second or something like that. And now they're just, they're really wimpy. I don't know what's up with that. But let's check out the map here real quick and see what kind of, we've got six Zascosium deposits to find. So let's go find one and hopefully we can find one on the day side. So you guys will be able to see <laughs> as we're mining. And there's there's interesting a POI on the top of the hill over there too, right up there. But yeah, let's head down here and see what we can find. Now the other thing I did is I customized all of the planets on this. And so one of the customizations I did was I changed all the ores. I made all the ores a lot more rare on this planet as well. So the Zascosium deposits are there's there are six of them, but they're small. So, and I don't remember the exact size that I put for them, but I think they're going to be like the... <laughs> there we go, there's a Saskosium deposit right there. I think they're going to be like the 300, or thereabouts. And yeah, the large plasma drones do have a ton of hit points. There we go, okay. One. And there's another one. Yeah, see, this one has 67 ores. So why don't we check it out and see if I can actually see here. Let's see if we can get over the top of this. We'll get leveled out. And come down on the top of it, maybe. Watch out, plasma drone. You scratched my anchor. <sighs> okay, is the ship moving at all? I can't tell. I can't tell if it's moving at all. It says 0, 0.0. So let's see if we can turn off the thrusters. Okay, now it should be sitting still. We'll get out of here. Yep, it appears to be. Good. So I will grab some lights here. Some lights here. And I can get rid of these, and these, and these. Okay, and I have weapons, good. <laughs> and I have oxygen, and I have a drill. Okay, so we should be able to come down here and mine. Let's see. And hopefully we are not right underneath. <laughs> okay, so here we go. We'll do like last time, and yeah, good, it's right on the surface there. There we go. And hopefully we don't get any surprise drone attacks while we're doing this. And it looks like there's another one ahead of me over here. Yeah, there is another one. Good. So there's two of them. And this appears to be going like the other one where it's fairly slow going. I'm not sure if that's planet based or ore based or what. It's actually kind of cool. It seems like it. I'll have to double check and do a, a test and find out what the the rate of mining is on each of these, just, just out of curiosity. So I will let you guys know about that. There we go. Okay, so let me sit down one of these so you can see a little better. A little. <laughs> just a little. And something else that you guys should know is that there's a Steam sale going on right now between now and July 4th, and so Empyrean is on sale. I think it's only 12 bucks now. So if you have, if if you were waiting to buy it, or if you have any friends that were wanting to buy it, uh, now's the time. Now's the time to do it. So you should definitely uh, pick it up or let your friends know. And uh, let's see here. We get back into the thrusters, turn them on. 
Whoops. Whoa, wrong keys. Wrong, I'm hitting all the wrong keys. Okay. So let's get out of here. And I suppose I can loot that plasma drone since there's actually nobody around. Let me let me do that real quick. And we'll go up here. And we'll just we'll just use the drone to do it. <laughs> what am I thinking? Okay. There we go. Alright. So let's get back to the ship. And we will go get this other deposit. And actually, that should be plenty. That should be enough for us. And here come all the nasties. <laughs> nice. Okay, so let's see. We need to get down here. And what is it shooting at? Is it a is it a drone or is it shooting at aliens? So, yeah, it's shooting at something, and it's shooting through the hill. Oh, there is a plasma drone coming. Okay. We'll go kill the plasma drone first. It's probably the replacement coming to shoot the ones that I shot down. Okay. And this thing is shooting at what? Another plasma drone. Okay. So let's, let's go kill these plasma drones. Whoops. And not drag my ship on the surface. And you do want to keep moving, even when you have turrets going at you because, or going for you, because you do not want to uh, let those things get a hit in. Those things do, do do some pretty significant damage. So anyway, let's see if we can get to our deposit here. Is it dark enough for you? Okay. And we'll get down over here. And we'll drop down slowly so I don't mess up my good paint job. And let's see, we'll turn off the thrusters. And there we go. Okay. And I'm hearing all kinds of nasties now. I hate those sounds, I really hate those sounds. <laughs> really hate those sounds. Okay, so our deposit is where again? 13 meters, okay. Yeah, I'm still waiting for the ship to just launch on me, which is not going to be fun, and I'll probably have to go running past a bunch of aliens to get to it. Nice. Freaky sounds. <laughs> okay, so let's get over here, and I will get this deposit, and unless something exciting happens, I will meet you guys when it's done. Okay guys, we're back and I've got the deposits, those first two deposits cleaned out and we're about to head over to this other deposit on the day side here. There's a minigun drone guarding it and there was also a ghost rider that, as you saw right as I came in here. So there's a POI there. Let's see. <laughs> Let's get rid of this guy. There we go. Alright. And so we can get this thing. Let's see here. Whoa. Why am I turning so hard? <laughs> okay, am I on some oh I think the front end is hitting oh the front end is hitting that, that's why. Okay. Uh I don't think I'm gonna be able to sit over this as comfortably as I normally do. But I also don't hear too much stuff. I don't think there's too many critters over here in this in this area but we'll see let's, let's take a whoops let's take a look here all right okay so we'll, we'll we'll again turn off the thrusters and see if we can yeah see I still am taking damage on the bottom here whoa wrong wrong, wrong thingy and one of the other bugs they seem to have fixed is that at least when you, uh, nice, yeah, I definitely need to make sure the thrusters are not, when you uh, repair the damage, it doesn't change the, nice, what was that? Oh, it was trying to tell me I can't upgrade. 
you when you repair the damage, it does not get rid of the textures. It used to get rid of the textures and the colors. The alien plant sticking through. Okay. So we're going to go down here. And I'm hoping nothing can fit underneath there and come get me. But we'll see. <laughs> we shall see. And man, those sounds are all creepy. Super creepy. Okay. Whoa! They shoot that now. Let's go see what they're shooting at. Rock is shooting too. Come on. Oh, there's a plasma drone incoming. Let's see. Are they gonna get it? Or is it just gonna... Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. Let's check out those sounds. <laughs> it's creepy. So, yeah. I don't plan to spend any more time on this planet than I have to. Um, <laughs> Hurley and I will come back later and do some adventures here, I think. But for right now, I just need to get this ore. So I'm going to grab this deposit, and I will meet you guys in a minute. Okay, guys, I finished up that deposit, and we've got, let's see, we have 311 Zascosium ore. That should be plenty. That'll give us a 600, so it'll give us quite a few power coils. I think I've got about 300 of the Arrestrum ore. So between those, yeah, that should do great. That should be plenty. And I think that's going to be it for episode 15. Uh, like I said, we will, we will come back later. And we will do um, a lot more detailed uh, adventuring and stuff on this planet, the alien planet, because it is pretty fun. And we'll, we'll do whatever the drone base and the weapons factory and all that stuff. Next episode, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go check out Ninges here. So this is the ice planet. And so we'll go check that out, and we will see where where would be a good place to build a base. And we'll start building on the big base. So we'll see you in episode 16. Later!